How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Hello, guys. Hello. Yeah. Come to Art Pro Fest. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me well? Yeah. Yes, I can hear you now. Awesome. So pleased to finally see you, Steve. So how have you been, have you been doing today? I've been great. I've been doing good. You? I'm very well, thank you. Preparing for today, you know. I was waiting for you. <laughs> but please, let me allow you to introduce yourself for people to know who you are. Can you please introduce yourself briefly? Thank you. My name is Steven Nyaga. Hiram. Hiram is my dad's name. Uh, I come from an area called Nakuru Town in Kenya, Africa. Yep. Uh, it's in Rift Valley. Rift Valley is one of the most amazing places, you know. Uh. It's a, so you had that fall there, uh, yeah. It's, it's a different area, so yeah. Um, my dad used to be an artist, so I think I took it. I took it from him. Mm. Yeah, so I went to my usual uh, primary school, secondary school. I believe you you guys have have a different system of colleges. Ours uh, is primary school and secondary school, high school. Oh, then, that's uh, awesome. Later, I went to art school, which is Buruburu Institute of Finance, mm -hmm. just located within Nairobi. Now I moved to my home area at Nakuru, then went to Nairobi for my art school for four years. I did my, my diploma. Oh. Yeah. Then after, I think of my graduation, I was lucky enough to get some jobs in different uh, UN, UN company. I was working for UNICEF, actually. I was doing for them illustrations. So I've been doing illustrations for like, I, I love drawing people since, since I was young. So I was so good in my illustrations, so people like them. So I was so lucky to get a job with UN. Worked with them for eight years. Uh, then I decided to stop the employment part. I, I think I just <laughs> stopped it and started doing my, my own stuff now. Ah. So, so how did you get started? How did you get started about doing your own art from now from now on? How did you start? Now from this this uh, uh actually the story I told you about the illustration. I used to do paintings which was telling stories about uh about uh our our African our African way of living, just the day to day life. What's happening? So since then, uh, I came. I came up now with, with this style, which now I'm I'm doing the. It's called African beauty. Yes. Uh, the the African beauty. I'm 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 telling a story about uh, the 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 reasons why we give names in our in our culture. Yes. Um, the, the meanings of the names, because usually we have very very crucial meanings, which really affects people in different ways. So then I decided to use the, the patterns, the, the, the patterns on the face, which represents our um, tribal patterns. They we do scarification. You know, you, so that's what we're seeing on the on the on the painting behind you, the scarification. Yeah. Scarification, that's scarification, yeah. And tattooing, you know, all those things were very crucial for our tradition. So that's where the names, the, the meanings of the names come in. And, um, Can you explain to us a little bit of this about this tradition? Can you tell us a little bit about that particular tradition where you, the names have a meaning? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, for for names, we usually name our kids depending on our on our on our, on our sometimes it's a uh, weather. We usually predict our weathers. We usually want to have good weathers so that we have uh, our our, our, you know, crops growing well and all that. Yeah. So we name our people depending on when we expect the rain to come in. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's really a precious moment, a, a beautiful moment to you know, guys will be so so happy about that. It makes sense. Uh, yeah, and so we have different meanings of of names. So. I so now for this painting, then what would be the name? <laughs> Since you've done a lot of different scarifications, would this painting have a name? Yes, they all have names. Ah. They all individuals, yeah. They all have names, yeah. So what's the they name all, of this one then? They, <laughs> which one, which one? The one at the back? Yeah. 
Let me give you the name. Let me give you a name right now because because they have a lot of beauties of them. I have, ah. um, oh, Nasarian. Nice side, nice side, nice side. I I have Nasarian. I have I have I have Nisarian Boke. Toy, I have Silan Toy. I have Nyambura. Yeah. I have um, lots of, of my beauty, which most of them I pick. Most of them I pick them from my local community. Most of them I pick them from the existing people around me. Mm. So the reason why I'm doing that is because I really want to tell a story about uh, how the lady, uh, it's very important to our society. So uh, I'm really trying to bring out that, if you look at my faces, they're all uh, like, um, they, they have a kind of an emotion on them. Yes. Maybe bold, you'll see boldness, you'll see some, some form of a communication yes. through their emotion. So uh, really, I'm picking out the models from the local local community, the the famous ladies that that the famous saloonists that you have in local area. Mm -hmm. So I pick them like my models now. Those are the ones that are really uh, kids will follow. You know, they they inspire the kids in a in a positive way. So yes. that's the, the reason I'm picking them. So when I sell them to the to the the world, so the kids will believe that yeah, it's possible to do it. You know. It makes sense. It's such a positive message. Message what you are, what you're doing. I mean, that's what exactly I was going to ask you. What would you like your art to represent to people? What would you like them to feel when they're looking at your paintings or your drawings? Really, it's the emotion. Really, uh, it's all about. Uh, I really just want to just to try and impact my society positively. In a way that at least the, the kids will 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 have something to to be able to grow up looking upon, mm. you know, for them to be able to to believe that they're, that the beautiful ladies that you have in Africa to not change their color. Mm. So that's beautiful. a positive message. Such a positive message that you want to put you are putting out there. So it's really kind of role models that you're putting out there for the youth to look up to. If I understood well your message. Sorry, I didn't get to write again. I said Sorry. what so what you're trying to do basically is to create some form of role models for the for the younger generations so they can look yeah. up to these women that you are painting as a role yeah. model of what they should aim at uh, becoming in life. Like everything is possible. And if they work hard, they can actually achieve whatever they, they want to achieve. Actually achieve what they want to achieve mm. in their life. That makes sense. This, this one is really striking. It's actually looking at me. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> this painting. Uh, okay. Strong fa facial features, I, I love it. I was gonna ask you another question about your, because you said you studied, uh, you studied art. So do, yeah. would you say that what you've studied has helped you in becoming who you are today or, or not? No, that's part of it. What I would say, Education really is a, it's just a platform to, mm -hmm. to get you a good education on how to, how to handle people and uh, how uh, basically the shortcuts of getting things easier, easier to be done. But I believe you, you first of all have to have something in you in order for you to be, to be uh, uh, maybe someone su successful from the education part. Okay. So really to me, I say, I will say, it's like asking me, when did I start painting? Do you know what I'll answer you? I, don't, uh, I think, I think, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when I started painting. I just found myself painting. Since I was a very young guy, I was, I was still painting. I was still designing. I was still, I made my own bicycle by the That's a funny thing. My, wow. my own bicycle. I went to a fundi, very local fundi, fetched material for myself, tried to make my own size of a bicycle. So since I was very young, I, I've, I've really been doing all types of art. Mm. So you're yeah. really creative because you do a lot of things, not just painting. You. you do, you know how to do a lot of things. That's very good. <laughs> uh, I do also sculpture, I do also sculpture, I do, I do, I do so sculpture. I... Do you have a favorite one? Do you prefer to sculpt? Do you prefer to draw? Do you prefer to paint? Which one do you prefer? No, nah, nah, I don't prefer any. Each, each comes with, with, with its own mood, with its own time. Okay. This one comes, I, I just want to do a sculpture. I don't want to see, see any painting in front of me. I just want to see a sculpture. Sometimes, 
sometimes I just feel like doing something else different. Sometimes I feel like I don't want to do anything. I just want to go away. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, how do you, how do you, how do you combine day-to-day -day life and working? How do you balance it? Because you seem to be spending a lot of time at your studio, right? No, nah, most of my time, I'm, I'm, I'm in the studio most of my time. Most oh of my the time. <laughs> so, 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 mm. my, usually I would say my day, my day life, I'm just a zombie. It's like a zombie. I just, I, I don't realize what's happening around. I'm, I'm just there, then, watching the movie, thinking of just going for a drive or something. Maybe take, I have a bike. I, I, I like cycling. Oh, cycling. Like, yeah. Cycling, let me tell you, is one of the amazing things that, that really releases your stress. <coughs> like, like, like 60%, I would say. That's mm. Cycling, because when you get out, the fresh air comes in, you know, in your head. That head was really boiling all through the night. So, you know, <laughs> and you're enjoying yourself. So That's good. Cycling is one of the amazing things that I like. Um, yeah, I and drive, I love that drive, yeah. So you were saying earlier that you find your inspirations from your local community for your painting yeah. and your sculpting. Are there any other source of inspirations that you, you think of when you are about to create a series of paintings or sculptures? Let's look around what's, what's happening around my, my, my community, the African, the African ways of living. So. Basically, I don't take it from one direction. Really, I'm mm. I, I, I'm just all around. I'm I'm just looking around. What what new do we have in Africa that's that's really capturing me? And and uh, how can I tell it out? You know, in a in a in a very special and mm. really yeah, in a very special way. Yeah, and a different way. One thing is different to me. There's something that I did when I came up this time. Mm -hmm. I, I was looking for something that I'll do differently, differently from the rest. So the first thing I did, I, I, I really did a very big research of what kind of artists we have and what, te what type of styles are, are they doing and how are they doing uh, the execution part. And so I thought of just being different in a, my own way. I thought of color and black and white. Mm. So, and it works very well, <laughs> so we can see the results. So it's amazing. I was also going to ask you, you know, for instance, when you get inspired by, let's say, a woman in your community. So do you, how do you, what is the process of for you to, you know, paint this person? Do you take a picture of the person and then you go back to your studio and then you paint the person? Or do you, how do you go? What's your process when you, once you find the, uh, the right person? What, what really, uh, what first step that will do mm -hmm. when they inspire me, I'll approach them and, and tell them about uh, how beautiful they are, they are first of all. So, yeah, so most of the time, I'll uh, prefer to come with, the, with her to the studio and get a photo from my, from my studio. Okay. Because I want to place her in a certain position that I want. Yeah, so sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll even just take a photo with my phone. You know, mm. yeah, and come and produce it. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's good then, because I was wondering how do you, how would you remember the face of the person? But that's really a good way to go about it. You just take a picture, and then later on, I, you can. Yeah, just can I introduce you to someone? Yes, sure. Hello. Please, Hi. Please, please meet Lee. So my name is Lee, and Hi, Lee. I, I, I basically help. Um, I help him when it's too heavy. I, I make sure he's not having it. Uh, when he wants to speak in a certain way that requires people to exactly know his story, mm -hmm. I'm coming and help him. So I basically help him manage his his work and show the world what 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 kind of an amazing person he is. So um, yeah, and we would like to also if you introduce yourself, uh, maybe just tell us a little bit of what you do, what inspires you. Like um, yeah. So, of course, of course. My name is. What do you love about his work? Like, I know it's, it's me, but different people come and say, you know, uh, we love the patterns, we love the story, we love the imagery, we, we, we love the, 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 the vision behind it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, please, 
kindly. <laughs> Plus, yeah. yeah, no problem. Of course, I've asked you to introduce yourself, so I should introduce it myself as well. So, as I said, my name is Ife Dolakpo. I'm um, originally from Nigeria, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I was raised in, I'm born in France. I started uh, as an art director within the fashion industry mostly, but I've always loved art. So I've been working also a little bit in art, fashion, art, fashion, but then I've developed a, such a strong uh, interest into African contemporary art. And I realized that um, there was no real like platform where we get to speak to the, to the artists to find out about their ideas and how they come up with their concepts. And I just thought, okay, let me just, have discussions with different artists and turn it into a podcast and share with other people so they understand how you go about creating what you're creating and they can they can understand the thought process behind it and also I think it's a good way to educate our people to know how to read art because mm. it's not yeah. given to everybody I, where I stay I'm privileged to be able to go to a museum every time and I'm used to to, do, to that but Sometimes most of our people don't really do that. And maybe by listening to a podcast, they can understand that, oh, while um, uh, uh, Steve painted these spaces, this is what he had in mind. It's, it's, this, is, this is what he was thinking about. Oh, it makes sense to me. It's my daily life. That's true. That's a nice thing. And then so that they get used to it and they start to love it, not just see art as a joke. You know, our people yeah. have the tendency to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see that. yeah. Uh, so that's the idea, basically. Yeah, and, and, you know, it, 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 the best way to speak, the best way to communicate. Well, we, uh, I've, I've also like I can also consider myself as an artist. But uh, when when I first saw his work and seen what he can do, it's clearly different. Like there's so many styles out there, there's so many mm -hmm. inspirations, and it, it turns out for the fact that not only the technique that he applies to his work. You can see that it, it's a story, a piece tells a complete story about positivity, impacting, uh, spreading the love, spreading the information on the African culture and how diverse, yeah. how powerful, how, how strong the culture is. So like one of the things Steve says is that there are people who feel like Africa is one continent. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, one so country, it, not even one continent, one country. country. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you see, it's, 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 it's a lot. It's, Endless. It's, it's, it's beautiful in, in, in some ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah so if, 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 if you can see like the, the pattern up close, try and follow a pattern mm -hmm. and see if it, it, it makes sense. It, it actually, it's a combination of a lot. So there's so many cultures, I would say, cultures, the meaning, uh, and then at the end of it, it comes out to be something beautiful. Like we are all this one beautiful undiscovered space mm. where, um, yeah. So that's, that's exactly that's what I was going to ask him. I was going to ask him yeah. because looking at the painting, I, I could see obviously there's different, uh, different techniques, different type of scarifications. Yeah. Um, did you have to study or research the different scarifications to use on your paintings or is it the ones that you already know of that you're using? I think uh, what I'll say, I go for what inspires me, but really not uh, what is there. Okay. So what inspires me is what drives my, my creativity towards mm. that direction, that you're still feeling like scarification. Mm. But in real sense, you know, the scarification is supposed to have a certain way, yeah. a certain design, only one yeah. design. Repeat, you know? Yeah, some people but have it this way, that it way, yeah. It definitely doesn't have to be the same way, you know? So the scarification inspired me. Mm. So I, be, I came up with something which is not, scar not scars as, as the ways mm. are supposed to be, you know? Some they use X, some they scar the whole face, the whole body, some scar the whole body. Mm. But now I use the patterns, the African tribal patterns, the, the ones that we see on our, on our textile and all that. I combine that with the scarification and the tattooing, you know, tattoo. Yes. Mostly came from Africa, right? Yes. I believe, I yeah. believe it was copied from yeah. Africa. So no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just combined all those and came up with now my pattern. Mm. which each pattern is a fingerprint none looks none looks like the other so i don't do it as a as a formula as a way of i don't have a way of doing it what okay. i do i use music uh, as my tool to drive what i want yeah. to drive on. <laughs> ah that's wonderful <laughs> so none of your paintings have the same 
uh, patterns. There's, you never you have twice the same pattern. Fingerprints. It's one. Wow. This is really That's unique. Right. Yeah, I think we should share, like, Thank I you. don't know whether you have a uh, his catalog that has all the stories behind all the images and all the ones that he's named. And, and each one has a striking feature, each one has a, 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 different, a different story to tell. Mm -hmm. But it's like a group, it's like a community trying to pick one language, which is yeah. the, the beauty language, you get it. So it's either you love it for what it looks like, but then there's also a story behind each one of mm. one of them. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes total sense. So I was going to ask him, but maybe you know. Do you know how many pieces he wants to do for this particular series? <laughs> He's back. <laughs> he will, oh, will you're me. back. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm back. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I was asking, what, how many pieces are you going to do for this particular series? Uh, each series I've got like uh, I don't have a. a, a because sometimes I go more from my motivation. Yes. So sometimes yeah. there's some series which has, has 20 pieces, mm -hmm. some has eight pieces, some has, depending on the inspiration. Sometimes I do it so fast, sometimes I'm, I'm lazy. So I'll do like <laughs> two or three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. Well, um, and if I ask you which one is your what, which one is your favorite piece? Like out of your all your pieces now, I know it's very hard to choose. We love, we love all. But there might be one that you know <laughs> you have a small, like a smaller, you know. Let me show you my favorite piece. This is my favorite yeah. piece right now. Unfinished. Aha. Oh, that's a beautiful too. woman. Right. She's beautiful. No, wow. that's my favorite. Because so, I'm with her right now. So the rest, the rest, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking upon the next one, not, not which one among them. <laughs> ah, that's good. I was going to ask you why she's your favorite. Well, now you said it. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still on, on her, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm making love to her. I'm making ah. love to her. Yeah. That's good. I can see it's working. I can see it's working well. <laughs> But that's, that's a beautiful one. I wonder what name you're going to give her. Oh, you don't know yet because you're not finished. I don't know yet. I don't know yet because I'm yeah. telling diff different stories. I'm telling different stories. Yes. So, so what, what would be her story, to... though? Do you, have, you already have you already planned her story in your head or not yet? I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 that's what Building. I'm building. The thing that yeah. I have. So, yeah. <laughs> when, when he walks, he. he like he told you, there's definitely no part. And maybe one day you will be in a position where you can see him develop one work. So he, he creates as he, he goes. So sometimes he starts a piece, then he puts it aside, and then works on another one. Then when mm. another one inspires him, he yeah. just, like ideas just keep on coming. And that's why it's this technique. He doesn't even know sometimes how he created some pattern. But wow. when he into this piece, yeah. yeah. Now that like the outcome just it comes out of the canvas like is also like wow yeah so yeah I'm, definitely I can imagine I'm, I'm, that I'm always wowed in the morning when I wake up in the morning I'm, I'm yeah. whoa who is this <laughs> I wasn't there when, yeah. when I was creating it so yeah <laughs> so uh, would you say that um, I mean have you uh, can you say whether you've been inspired by any other artists out there? Are there any artists out there that you find very inspiring that you like their work? Yes, thank you so much. There are many great artists out there. That's why I, I, I'm, I'm really a good researcher on, on the styles that are coming up right now, what kind of artists we have around, what are, what are they doing? I, 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 they really inspire me, all of them. But uh, sorry to say, but I will say what, I, what the, the research that I was doing really was um, to get to know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And me, it's try, trying to, it's really about trying to run away from what they're doing, rather than okay. trying to acquire their styles or what yeah. they're doing, like uh, say like block printing, like uh, painting, like, you know, mm -hmm. the, the different types of painting, maybe combination, like, you know, many, some examples of types of art. So, 
actually I was, I was looking at them and trying to not do that. Okay. Yeah. All right, I understand. That is fine me. So really, uh, I would say about inspiration, Andy Wall is the first one really who inspired me. I would say Andy Wall has really inspired me because of pop art, the popping color, mm. that popping color. So really, and, and I found myself, it's like my story is still telling the same story as Andy Warhol. Because I'm really trying to empower my, my, my local woman. So they are my, they are my pop artists. They're, they're, my, they're my stars in the area. The stars in my area, the stars from the local. So I pick them and, and try to paint them and sell them to the world. So those are my stars. So mm. I think Andy Warhol really, yeah. So there's no, ah. but really everything is just on, I just turned to my own way. Okay. So you, you got no particular interest in any other international painters that you find interesting. No, you're running away from that basically. No, I'm not saying, I'm just saying I love all of them. I love their work so much. So, okay. But what I was trying to do actually is not to place myself as a, as a lower artist in, in this perspective, that I'm trying to get something out of someone in order for me to be able to be. But I, oh, yeah. I, I was just looking at things balanced as, as me and Picasso and yeah. Andy, Andy Oho yeah. and yeah. put in the same room. Yeah. Put in the same room. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. That I would work. Why not? That's create something <laughs> new. If you put them all together, yeah. something new. Yeah. And, and most, mostly, yeah. mostly what he says is, um, each artist, well, it's not not like just the painters alone, even the performances, uh, the visual artists. There's only one of Kanye, and there's no two Kanye. Mm. There is only one uh, Da Vinci. There's none other. So each one of them, if you look at them, they have different styles of speaking. Mm. So yeah. he is passionate about his message first, but then comes out through his art. That's even way 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 better because this is mm. what he loves mm. yeah. yep. okay and have you ever tried abstract art because i see you do a lot of figurative art and portraits have you ever tried it then i've done a lot of abstract art i've done them i've done i've had some pieces in my studio during the last i've done i've, I've done a lot of a lot of abstract art i've done sculpture i've done metal work like I'll show something here that I'm working on right now. Yeah. Like this normal story. That's, that, that, that's me on my street. Really? I, clearly. I can see a face. And I like can see someone story. walking. Yeah, like someone walking alone, right? Yes. Very lonely. Very lonely. And uh, yeah, the street looks a bit uh, scary. A, a bit... Uh, can call it not not the best moment you can ever you will prefer it in blue than whatever you saying, right so that's my story that i did that as an abstract for myself just to, to remind me mm -hmm. to remind me where i was and where i was coming from and i was all alone but oh. no one else with me. so i had to walk this journey so you're really channeling your emotions to paint i mean every time you have a particular emotion you pour it into your paintings, right? Yes. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank and which you. one do you prefer? Do you prefer abstract art or figurative art? Which uh, one do you prefer doing? I, I prefer figurative because figurative Why? gives me the right emotion. It, it gives me the emotion that I want. That's yeah. the emotion. The emotion that I, I want to see that emotion, the, the expression, the, the way you feel, the, your texture, your color, mm. but in black, because you can tell some of, some of them are so black and some of them are, are light skinned, mm. but they're all black. So that's true. Yeah, that, that's really what uh, really inspires me on the, on the figurative. But now the pattern is where now my abstract side now comes because now. That's not my playground. That's where I I I, I play my music. I, I I get the flow. Everything flows in the right direction. Whatever it's supposed to lie to. 
then it comes to whatever it is like that. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank you. I think I have one more question to ask you. How is the art industry in uh, in your place where you are? It's not bad. Things are picking up right now. Okay. So how? I mean, are, is it like um, are people more working together, or do you guys get to you know come up together and discuss about each other's art, or how does it? How do you? How is your ecosystem? How do you as yeah, an artist? Definitely, we have we have. We have groups of artists, so mm. we have like a we have like Warner Trust. We have groups of artists where where maybe the local artists that they go to when you discover your talent, you go and 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 maybe improve on it from the. So we have such, but yeah. now in minimal. We are in minimal, but at the same time, uh, I think uh, yeah, it's catching up. It's catching up. Things are getting because because. I know people are learning more. Art is doing much better than that. Than mm. later. That's what we want now. And um, and do you have any exhibition coming up soon, or are you doing? Are you planning on doing any exhibitions anytime soon? Yeah, definitely. We have some exhibition coming up. So he but, he um, he. Okay. So now that that's where I know I come into. That's where he comes in. Yeah, that's where he comes in. He he tells me this is my vision. No, mm -hmm. um, I want to see all of these things done. So you see, with planning and strategy and timing, everything comes systematically. So currently, uh, I think you ask how is the market? Uh, the market is quite competitive mm -hmm. in our in our in our country. But mm -hmm. you see, for for him, the first time I met him, his his art looks different because it's technique and style. It turns out like. Why, why, why can somebody elsewhere just have the piece so that he can see this time, mm. uh, which is probably not discovered or not seen or not realized, but even beautiful for him, it's a whole performance. Mm. When he, the whole process is beautiful at each stage. So uh, our goal is, and my goal is for the world to get to see what he does mm. perfect in his element and to read the stories that he is trying to communicate. This is just one technique. You've seen everything that he does. Mm. He has so much, so much to do. Like, I'm sure he does. I saw his yeah. Instagram page. It's yeah, insane. It's, <laughs> and so, like, he's no, constantly working on that's something. That's going to kill me. I'm, I don't have time to relax. I, I, and he didn't tell you he's an inventor as well. He makes everything with his own hands. From the party. Yeah, because he told me he made a bike. So I know he can be extremely oh, creative. He oh, oh, oh. <laughs> on at everything. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> it did. Yeah. That's 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 yeah. 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 yeah, I'm listening to you. So yeah, definitely. And now I would like you to give an advice to young yeah. uh you know, creatives, people that want to start into the paint, that want to become painters or sculptors, what can you tell them to encourage them? What do they what, what advice can you give them? Um, be yourself. First of, that's the first thing. Yeah, definitely. Trust you. Yeah. You trust you. Everything else lies. Stream lines. Stream lines. Because stream lines. Because uh, when you when you respect you and when you trust in you yeah. and everything, you're you're supposed to wake up. At the same time that you woke up that morning, because mm. everything else is supposed to be lying. But when you become a bit uh, resistance to yourself, everything else becomes a distraction. Yeah. Mm. Chaotic. Not chaotic. So believe in yourself. Work, 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 work. Thank you so much for all this. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you very much. And I'll okay. see you. Bye, guys. And thank you for the, for the chat, yeah? Okay, no worries. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.